So our next two presenters, uh, they are fairly new to the OpenZFS community, but they have already made uh, quite a few contributions uh, and they have already presented here last year. So uh, here we have uh, Seraphim and Sarah who are going to do the hackathon pitches for uh, tomorrow's hackathon. So uh, please come on stage. Hello everyone. Um, as Pavel said, the, this short talk is going to be about the hackathon that's going to take place tomorrow. Um, just a quick question to start with. Um, who here uh, has come to the OpenGFS Summit for the first time? Who's first time here? Okay, raise hands. Okay, have some people. Okay, um, from the people who came here, uh, who joined last year, uh, how many when, uh, joined us on the second day and worked on a project, raise your hands. Okay, okay, cool. So that's great, that's great. Um, so the hackathon is a great time, you know, to get together with some people that sometimes, you know, you generally don't work with, right? They're not from your company or like, um, you know, and you get to work on like interesting problems that sometimes you wouldn't work otherwise. Or, and for some other people it's like, you know, a nice way to get your hands dirty right away. Um, so, you know, as I say, as the slide says, you know, you work on interesting things, you know, uh, working on interesting things, fostering like community involvement, and you get to make new connections, you know, new friends and things like that. The issue is though, that um, what we've seen in the past hackathons is that uh, the attendance is very low compared to the first day. You know, many people come here for the talks. Um, they join us on the second day, they see the lightning talks, but uh, the hackathon participation is very low compared to that. And some of the barriers that we've seen is that many people just, you know, after the lightning talks, they're like, oh, I don't know if I can be of any help or I want to help, but I don't know what to work on. Um, and maybe if they find something that they like to work on, they don't know how to get started or, you know, get some help in order to get started. Um, things like setting up a developer environment or just like understanding, you know, getting an overview of a subsystem or something like that. So Sarah and I decided to work on this little issue this year um, on this OpenGFS Summit and Sarah will uh, go over the things that we've thought that may help. Yeah, um, so like Seraphim said, we really want to make the hackathon as newcomer friendly as possible. So we've put together a variety of newcomer resources. Um, so the first is a link to a spreadsheet of hackathon suggestions. And uh, the first chunk of those suggestions are ones that we came up with as kind of bite-sized intro projects. Um, and then there are other projects, some of which might be bite-sized or not proposed by other members of the community. We also created a resource page for newcomers on the OpenZFS wiki, which you should check out. It has, it's kind of like a collection point for getting started resources, some talks and materials that we found really helpful when we were getting familiar with ZFS. Um, we also have a new Slack channel in the OpenZFS Slack. Um, there's instructions on how to join the OpenZFS Slack on the OpenZFS wiki and everyone should join. Um, so we have a Slack channel called newcomers for asking, getting started type questions and answering those questions. Like if you're someone who's more familiar with stuff but wants to help out newcomers, we'd love you to join that channel as well. Um, and then just like overall, uh, Seraphim and I want to be your points of contact um, if you're a newcomer and you want to try and get involved in this community. And so those are our, our Slack handles and feel free to reach out to us directly or come up to us and talk to us. Um, so the other thing to keep in mind is that there's a huge range of things that you can work on during this hackathon. Um, so we've touched on a couple of them, but everything from discussing future ideas and talking about how you use ZFS or your company uses ZFS. There's a ton of work to be done on documentation, as we saw from George's talk. Um, the OpenZFS wiki is a good resource, but things are a little like scattered, um, out of date. There's lots of work to be done there. Blog posts are really valuable. That's really helpful for learning ZFS or getting familiar with subsystems or learning about new ideas. Um, and then there's also a lot of just general community development work to be done. So Matt touched on this in his intro talk. Um, and Karen is going to be kind of the point person at the hackathon um, for um, talking about these ideas. But 
how do we make the OpenZFS community self-sustaining um, and healthy and keep it going in the future? Um, and yeah, there's a lot of things that go into that, but things like simple things like making our Slack channel better, making our wiki better, um, thinking about like community guidelines, uh, all kinds of stuff. So let's see. I think I had a couple other things I was going to talk about here. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, the other thing that Seraphim uh, reminded me of was that, and as we saw um, from the talk on monitoring, you don't even need to like install and set up a development environment to start doing interesting things with ZFS. Um, you can do visualizations like of George's dtrace script for uh, the IO pipeline, or you can try and look at like performance metrics or all kinds of stuff. So hopefully this gave you some ideas. Um, there are lots of folks in the community who have ideas for projects. Um, you can see them on the spreadsheet and reach out the, to them on person um, or on Slack. And just in general, we encourage you to talk to each other and um, work on new things together. Um, so here's just like a list of some cool uh, ZFS features that came out of hackathons. Um, Zpool wait, Zpool checkpoint, VDev Meslab classes just went in to ZFS Linux. Very exciting. Um, compressed arc channel programs and bunch of other stuff. So this is like a really, a really valuable time um, for community building um, and growth of ZFS in general. And it's a really um, like fruitful time for new ZFS features and making progress in ZFS. Um, so yeah, we hope you'll join us. Um, here's the details for the time and location. There'll be some lightning talks at the beginning to kind of get people's ideas going. And then again, you can see the spreadsheet of ideas. Feel free to add your own ideas um, or post in the channel if you're looking for help, um, all that stuff. Um, any questions? Yeah. Well, a point, if you have questions, there is no better place on earth to get them answered. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like, um, right, it's asking questions is stressful, like in general. Like it is hard to admit you don't know things and it's hard to, um, kind of like be vulnerable in that way, but you're surrounded by people who are really excited about ZFS and who really want to help people understand it and also realize like how confusing and weird things are. So like this is this is the time. Yeah. Um, I actually, you reminded me that I, I have a design thing that I wrote a while ago. It's basically like a Google Doc presentation. It would probably be good for like the website. Yeah, that'd be great. Somebody that I could submit that to to put it on the website. Yeah, yeah, send that to Seraphim and I. Uh, anything else? All right, awesome. I hope to see all of you there. Bye. Thanks a lot, sir.